Yeah, I was looking at that show Big 30 was doing and finesse two times, right? And yeah, the uh, promoter, they tried to play, um, you know, all they did. They paid them 4000 They owed them twenty, uh, owed them seventeen five, but he get 20000 a show, right? Big 30. See? That's what I'm telling y'all. We ain't here to talk about that. We already know what's going on with that. I'm telling y'all, man, it would not be smart to sign under Big 30. If he getting 20000 a show, and it's been this long, he's been in the game this long, that means Big 30 is a lazy artist. Nah, he ain't no major artist. Like, he ain't no hell of a artist. He's still getting 20000 a show. And the only reason why Big 30 get 20000 a show is two reasons. His record label and Blue Shyster. That's it. If it wasn't for Bread Gang and Blue Shyster, he would not be getting, he'd be getting like five or 10. If he had to really do it on his own, he ain't had none of them attachments with him. He'd probably be getting about five or 10. And lucky if he get 10. So if you're an artist and you have emotion, let's say you a Lamigo, you would be a fool to sign under Big 30. Cause he's not gonna he's not gonna push you. You don't even push yourself. You don't push yourself in the music industry, you don't push yourself in the gym, none of that though. Now getting high, you know, stepping on shit, getting shit handled and shit like that. Yeah, that's your guy. You know what I'm saying? Like just keeping it gangster, that's your guy. Now if you a nigga like you ain't really got too much going and uh, you got a whole bunch of beef or like you ain't really got nothing to lose and you just in the hood. Yeah, that's a good opportunity because all you're going to do, he's going to give you a chain. He going to do some songs with you. He going to uh, repost you on his uh, IG. That's it. That's it. You're going to smoke good. You're around him. You'll meet artists, you'll be around finesse, you'll be around money bag, yo, you'll be around these type of artists, but he ain't around a whole bunch of artists in the music industry. He ain't gonna change your life. He ain't gonna better meet the right people that change your life. You will have to sign to him, and then this is how he gonna fuck you over. Then if you really hot, and then somebody like Money Bag or Yo Gotti or an Interscope C that you a real hot artist and he can't do nothing with you, you had to sign another deal. So now you gotta pay this one and that one, and then he gonna get all the money off you with that one. And that's how he gonna pay his taxes and shit like that. So he'll come up like that. But any artist that got any type of hell of a motion where you can get a million views or 500,000, or you got 500,000 Spotify numbers or 400,000 or 300,000, like you got any type of traction, it wouldn't be smart to sign under Big 30. If your big dog only get 20,000 to show, why would he let you grow higher than that? Why would he push you harder than that? Why? Why? Like you would have to find different lanes. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's better than, you know, you got a whole bunch of beef and a whole bunch of shit going on in the streets. You know, maybe he could pull you out of Memphis, but he like to be in Memphis all the time, so he wouldn't even change his life with that. You would still end up getting gunned down or something happening to you because he like to be in Memphis. You're going to be under him. So like you'll find yourself in a trap or you'll find yourself in that rat thing that spin around like that. That wheel thing. You'll keep going in circles, but you ain't really going nowhere. You ain't gonna be going nowhere. You'll get to meet up with Sauce Walker. Like when they go to Texas, you'll link up with Sauce Walker. You'll link up with Peso Peso. You'll link up with rappers like that. But you ain't finna, you'll shake some hands, smoke good blunts and shit like that. You'll go shopping. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to spend 50,000, 30,000 like Meat Mill did for his birthday. Not on a regular basis. You ain't gonna be able to do it. You might have to still trap. The only way I can see you really making a whole bunch of money out of this situation is if the fans really fuck with you hard, right? So, yeah, because he can't control you getting 20,000 or 30. He can't control what you get in the show. So, yeah, you'll get a lot of money in the show, but he ain't gonna push you like that. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all eventually, y'all will fall out. Your album will never come out. You know what I'm saying? You'll do mixtapes, but your albums will never come out like that, like how it's supposed to be. So you ain't gonna meet your full potential. You'll be getting 15,000 a show, but you're supposed to be getting 30 or 40. But then let's say you get up there, you'll need to find a mentor and find other revenues in the game where he don't get paid from. It. So that's why you gotta be careful when you sign to a nigga like a big 30 or finish two times. Because in that contract, you might say, look, I need some of your merch, your YouTube revenue, your Spotify, like any kind of revenue you can make from music, he want that. And he gonna get that. So he gonna give you a little 30,000, 50,000, he gonna give you a scat pack or an old Hellcat or something like that. 
Yeah, give you a chain. Put you up on the ground. You're gonna bite the whole hood out there, make it look good. But I'm telling you, them artists, when they do that shit to y'all, man, them niggas gonna be happy, man. There's only a few HGs and money back yo's and black youngsters. Like, these niggas had a boss mentality though, like. These niggas just wasn't no regular artists, like they made a way. You see what I'm saying? So you just a young nigga, you don't know nothing about the music industry, you ain't trying to learn nothing. You can't even really learn like that. So if that nigga gave you 50,000, you wouldn't want to give 15,000 or 20,000 to Master P so he can tell you like, nah, 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 nah. Or you wouldn't want to give Master P 5,000 or 10,000. He may look out, but give me 5,000, I'll look over it. But I'm gonna take my time with it. You know what I'm saying? He could be Sauce Walker, he could be Money Man. He look over, he could be Batman Cabo. Man, man, Kevin might want eight thousand. Then look over your contract. You wouldn't even give him that. And that little eight thousand gonna let you know you just signed your life away. So what you want to do is, because if you if he gave you the thirty thousand, you get them niggas the eight thousand. You already signed the contract. So what you want to do is go in your own stash, but you ain't probably gonna have that. You a trap nigga. You a demon. You a stepper. That's why they love steppers and demons. That's all around them. Niggas ain't really got no big bag. You had to go in your own little stash. Cause you ain't got no momentum, you ain't even get paid for no verses. The first time you got paid is when you signed with Chopper Game. When you signed with FNG and all that there, whatever it's called. That's the first time you really get in a bag for music. When you sign the deal, nigga ain't never really paid you for no feature fine and all that shit don't count. That shit do not count. Like you can say it do, but that shit ain't nothing, man. You smoke that shit up. You treat this shit off on liquor and lean and pills and a hoe. You know what I'm like a gun, guns and shit, scat packs. Like you read about looking like the rapper. So as soon as a nigga give you 50,000 or 30,000 or whatever, 100,000, he ain't gonna give you 100,000 though. You gonna go straight to that light, get you a scat. You gonna get shit like that, bullshit that you don't need. You gonna be in the hole, man. You gonna be living check to check. You gonna be in the hole, man. Begging for shows. Not knowing how to work your way up in shows. Not networking, cause you in the hood with him all the time. You looking up to him, that's your big homie. He in the hood all the time, he ain't networking. So you ain't gonna do the free shows or the shows they gonna pay you 500 or 1500 to graduate you to 15,000, 20,000, 30,000. Cause it's all about the audience. They testing you. You know what I'm saying? Not working the radio. You spending your money on scat packs and shit. When you could, you're supposed to call Charlemagne. Reach out to Charlemagne like, hey man, like, look over this contract. Look, but you ain't got no money. And you ain't made no connections. So you had to sign a deal and get played. You had to let a nigga fuck on you. You just gotta hope it ain't no five year album deal. I mean, it ain't no five album deal. It ain't no three album deal. That's too much. To sign with him, like that shit ain't worth it, man. So this how a lot of artists get played, man. Like these niggas be having all these artists, they ain't doing nothing with them. It could be a big artist. This shit goes on with big artists. I'm talking about superstars. You just be sitting. You just be sitting, man. But you gotta work though. While you sitting and getting played, you gotta work. You gotta be like Stunner for Vegas. You gotta be like Stunner for Vegas. You gotta keep working and build that audience. Stunner for Vegas got a. I'm gonna do a video on Stunner for Vegas, so I'm gonna hold off on that. But he got a, a white audience, man. He got a white audience, man. He got a hell of an audience, man. He a, a tour artist. He like Bow Wow. Now, of course, on a smaller scale, because he ain't got the song like Bow Wow, but he a concert, he a show artist. So he gonna always, he gonna always accumulate the millions of dollars. You see what I'm saying? But he worked. He built that audience. He know how to perform. Y'all niggas be too tough, too gangster. You know, he'll jump in the crowd, take his shirt off, real white boy shit, man. Y'all niggas be too tough, be too high, and be lazy with it, or too gangster with it. Like, don't do interviews. You just be sitting. Nigga can always find you in South Memphis or North Memphis. Just gonna be a popular ass nigga that everybody know. You think everybody know, but they really don't. They really don't know you. They know Big 30 and shit, but he ain't working. He ain't putting you in no different situations. You know what I'm saying? So, you have to learn. You, you find yourself in a deal like that, you got to learn how to network. You got to learn how to keep spending money into yourself. Don't wait on Big 30. Don't wait on no check. Any little money that you get from the trap, because you're going to still have to trap a scam. You're going to still have to trap a scam. You're going to have to, because the money ain't going to be coming in like that. The money ain't y'all niggas ain't really hustles like that when it comes to music. I don't see y'all niggas ground working like Peso Peso and them TSF artists. They be going to different cities saying uh, 5,000 a verse, 10,000 a verse. They'll lower it, try to look out for niggas. Do you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't be doing that. So nah, man, y'all gonna be a bunch of y'all big homie. So is he a good leader? 
Oh yeah, all you care about is the jury, the little gangster shit he be talking and all that done, and a little Hellcat the Rangos and shit like that. And he can show you two or three cars and he can pull up on money back, yo, with you in the car. You know what I'm saying? He can get them niggas on the phone. Shit like that. You cool with shit like that. that that'll excite you. So man, fuck all the uh them get played by the promoter. That shit happened to any artist. We talking about this nigga getting twenty thousand a show and he been in the game this long. And he still ain't got no hit record. He still ain't had no big billboard song or nothing. Now ain't no big street anthem. Them shits, all them songs y'all be saying that backseat shit, that shit was cool. That shit ain't really no big street anthem like that. Come on, man. He ain't push that shit. He ain't put enough money behind the record. Now, if Push Icey was out, then he'd be getting 30000 a show or 40000 a show. Because Push Icey would put him on them songs. So, he the battery. <laughs> he the battery. That's why it ain't nothing for... Big 30 this close to going back to prison or going to prison for crashing out. He this close or a Rico charge. Cause that nigga ain't really working as an artist. He ain't really working as an artist. That nigga ain't busy all through the week. That nigga ain't doing five, six, seven shows a week. You know what I'm saying? Getting 10 verses a week or six, seven verses a week or four verses a week. But it's better than, you know, all of us though. I can't lie. Now, it's better than his situation better than us. You know what I'm saying? He's still making, he still can make a 50,000 in a day or 50,000 in a week. He can make whatever. But I don't see the work ethic. I don't see the growth. So, yeah, you could say that shit, Money Bag Yo say, but Money Bag Yo on this level, so he could talk like that. I can't say nothing about Money Bag Yo. He said, I don't care about being the best or having the, the most number ones as long as I can feed my family off this shit. So, Money Bag Yo can say that because he on a, Superstar type level He ain't no superstar But he almost there He right at the door Knocking on it And they opened it They already said Who is it and everything He just a couple songs And whatever a Relationship or whatever But he right there he, I could definitely see him Being there But he gotta do that Little shit And maybe he don't Want to do all that though But man You just gotta be careful With these niggas man But it's an opportunity man Not for everybody I can't say to pass up On an opportunity though not for everybody, because some niggas, they need to take that and get played on. But a lot of you niggas, y'all ain't got to do that shit, man. Don't be amazed by these niggas because they got a name and you just see them in the video and you love their songs. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. You're going to sign your life away. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. It's a lot of talent in Memphis, man. Nah, man, just because he reached out to you first, don't fall for it. If he like you, somebody else like you. They ain't seen you yet. They ain't seen you, so you need to reach out to the bloggers, pay us. We the cheapest promotion you can get. Reaching out to King AK, King Yellow, J Main, uh, Sadie Nash, like all the Ayo Kaseko, like all these bloggers, like we the cheapest promotion. <laughs> Why would you pay King AK uh, a couple thousand and he getting all these damn views, or Sadie Nash and he getting all these damn views, or me, or Ayo Kaseko, or J Main, or goddamn. King Yella or uh, um, The Real Fam, The Real TV. Uh, like all these niggas, man, that's doing their thing, man. Why wouldn't you pay these niggas, man? <laughs> then when you, you know, when the money coming in, then you pay the academics. Then you pay the goddamn say cheese. Then you, or you do it at the same time. But the YouTube bloggers is the ones who promote shit every day. Put your shit in the video. So if a little baby do that little shit he did, I put your promotion with that. But it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you some racks. Or it's gonna cost you 500, 700. Cause your video, your music video might give me a copyright strike. So I ain't gonna take a loss on that. So you gotta pay 700, 500, a thousand or whatever. Yeah, cause if you reach out to Rolling Stone, I mean Rolling Loud, they ain't gonna see the DM. So you're gonna think they being funny. Nah, they ain't looking at the DM. You try to reach out to Hot 97, they ain't looking in the DM. Yeah, like, you can't pay Vlad. You can't pay Vlad. He ain't taking the money. He good. You can pay Shade Room 6000 for a post. You can pay them 6000 That's six bands, though. But, hey, you never know what he can do for you. Then y'all niggas be focused on the wrong shit. Y'all be focused on the wrong audience. But you should focus on females. You get the females, the niggas gonna follow. You get the females, the niggas gonna follow.
Don't make the same mistake that Lloyd Banks did. Lloyd Banks had the female audience. He wanted to be street. He wanted to come out with songs like On Fire and Warrior and shit like that. Nah, stick with the smile. Stick with the um, the karma. I am the money. Stick with that shit. Don't be trying to... Then you can come with the I'm so fly and all that shit later. But stick with the shit that worked. He ain't want to do that. Because he seen Ye Yo Buck and 50 and how they was coming. He ain't want to do that. Don't be that artist. Focus once the females love you. Especially if you're attractive and handsome. They'll take you that. Uh -huh. If you handsome to them, yeah, cater to them. If you can talk that shit in them songs, that nasty shit, cater to them. Then push off the hood shit. Unless you got a hell of a story. And sometimes the men will turn you up and the females they'll follow. Don't always focus on doing a song with a male artist. Don't always do that. Get you a sexy red when they coming up. Don't wait till she, like now she may want 20, 30, 40,000. When you could have got her early and she wanted 5,000 or 3,500. Or probably would have done it for free because you connected to this or that. Or 5,000, something like. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to catch these artists early so you always got to be looking out for the newest artists. You always got to do that. You could have got Scarlett before she blew up. But you wanted EG. He want 30,000, 40,000. He may take off 10,000 you catch him when he gambling. But you got to be around. You ain't had the money on deck. And he got to be losing. He can't be winning. He still ain't going to. He got to be losing. And then you got to come up on some player shit. You can't be, you know, I mean, on some, you know what I'm saying, smooth shit. Some G shit. Like, hey, nigga, you can't say this shit out loud. Like, hey, man, shit, I got like 30. You go ahead and give him the money now. He charged 40. I got 30. Let me get 10 balls, 12 balls. You know, hook or something. You know what I'm saying? All right, I got you. Don't tell no guy about it, though. You tell somebody, I hit this shit again. Nigga, I ain't going to fuck with you no more. I'll cut you off. I don't do no shit like this. Niggas gonna get mad. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, your big homie gonna say, what the fuck he know? He a blogger. He just talking. So hey, listen to your big homie. Sign that contract. And see where that take you. See where that take you. You know? Be patient, my nigga. Be patient. But if you can't be patient, then sign that shit then, nigga. <laughs> and good luck. Good luck. Y'all hit the like button, man. Y'all hit the comment section, man. Hey, IG, the underscore game underscore spitter, man. Y'all already know my slogan. He was with him. Gone.